students in this video we'll discuss about radius of curvature in cartesian form let us take one example find the radius of curvature of the curve x cube plus y cube is equal to 3a xy at 3a by 2 and 3a by 2 the radius of curvature in cartesian form is given by rho is equal to 1 plus y dash square raised to 3 by 2 divided by y double dash. So here y dash and y double dash are the first order and the second order derivatives. So we have to find out the first order and second order derivative of the given curve. The given curve x cube plus y cube is equal to 3a xy. It is implicit function. We will go for differentiating with respect to x. The derivative of x cube is 3x square. The derivative of y cube is given by 3y square into dy by dx. So that is y dash. Here on the right hand side as this is the implicit function we have to take this with the product rule. So 3a is a constant. The derivative of xy by the product rule keep x as it is, the derivative of y is y dash plus the y as it is, the derivative of x is y. Now, here take 3 common and cancel on the right hand, the 3 with the right hand side. So, it is x square plus y square y y dash is equal to a x y dash plus y. Multiplying that a, a x y dash plus a y. Here on the left side, x square plus y square y dash. Take all the y dash terms on the left hand side and the remaining terms on the right hand side. So it is y square y dash minus, this is the term with the y dash. So it is a x y dash is equal to a y minus x square. So, here y dash is common. So, take y dash common. y square minus ax y dash is equal to ay minus x square. So, the first order derivative y dash is given by ay minus x square divided by y square minus ax. This first order derivative we will find at the point 3a by 2 and 3a by 2. So, y dash at 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2. Substituting the values, it is a into 3a by 2 minus 3a by 2 square divided by the y square which is again 3a by 2 square minus a x 3a by 2. On simplification, we can directly write also because if you see, the terms are same here. 3a by 2 the square, here also we have 3a by 2 the square, a into 3a by 2, a into 3a by 2. Only the thing is that they are with the difference of minus sign. So, you can take a minus sign common and cancel both. Or else, you can simplify this as 3a square by 2 minus 9a square by 4 divided by 9a square by 4 minus 3a square by 2. On simplifying, the LCM will be 4. So, it will be 6a square minus 3a square 9a square by 4 divided by 9a square minus 6a square by 4. So, 4 get cancelled. It is minus 3a square divided by plus 3a square which is equal to minus 1. So, we got y dash at 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2 as minus 1. So, this is the first order derivative at the given point which is minus 
1. So here we need to go for second order derivative. Let's go for the second order derivative. Find the second order derivative by using the question here. So the second order derivative is y double dash using the question rule formula. So the question rule is given by the derivative of u by v is equal to v square v u dash minus u v dash. So according to that it is y square minus ax the whole square. On the numerator it is y square minus ax as it is. And the derivative of numerator is a. The derivative of y is y dash minus the derivative of x square is 2x minus. Keeping the numerator as it is, ay minus x square as it is. The derivative of denominator, it is 2y y dash, which is for y square minus the derivative of ax is a into 1 which is a. So y double dash at 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2 is you either simplify this and substitute or else substituting directly substitute x is equal to y is equal to 3a by 2 and 3a by 2 and y dash is equal to minus 1. So here y square which will be 9 a square by 4 minus a x value 3a by 2. So this is for the first term and for the a y dash minus 2x it is a minus 1 2 into x which will be 3a by 2 minus a y a into 3a by 2 minus x square. 9a square by 4. 2y, y dash is minus 1, minus 2. This whole divided by y square, 9a square by 4, minus 3a by 2. a into 3a by 2. So, on simplifying, it is the 2 get cancelled here. It is 9a square by 4 minus 3a square by 2. This is minus a minus 3a which is minus 4. Similarly here it for the second term it is 3a square by 2 minus 9a square by 4. This is the 2 get cancelled. Again we have minus 4a divided by 9a square by 4 minus 3a square by 2 the whole square. So we see that this is after taking LCM we will get 3a square by 4 into minus 4a. Here minus of 3a square by 4 into minus 4a divided by 3a square by 4 the whole square. The 4 gets cancelled. So it is the thrice the minus sign. We will get 3a cube minus 3a cube divided by it will be 9a raised to 4 by 16. Minus 6a cube divided by 16, 9, a raised to 4. So, on simplification, we have the second order derivative as
it is 32 minus 32 by 3a. So, this is y double y. Add the 3a by 2, 3a by 2. Substituting y dash is equal to minus 1 and y double dash is equal to minus 32 by 3a. In the radius of curvature formula, it is 1 plus y dash square raised to 3 by 2 divided by y double dash. y dash is minus 1, its square will be plus 1. So, it is 1 plus 1 is raised to 3 by 2 minus 32 by 3a. The denominator of the denominator will go to the numerator. It is 3a on the numerator. It is 2 raised to 3 by 2 divided by 32. On simplification, 2 raised to 3 by 2 is 2 root 2. And always we take the radius of curvature as a positive quantity. So, modulus of rho is equal to 3a. 2 root 2 divided by 32. So, 32 we will write it as 16 root 2 root 2 and cancellation we get the radius of curvature as 3a 8 root 2. So, this is the radius of curvature for the given curve. Thanks for watching.